for more on his announcement. We go live to WHO 13 Zach Fisher. Zach, you were there for it all today. Yeah, Aaron, I was and the former vice president has been in Iowa several times over the last two months, just adding fuel to the fire of his potential run for the White House. Now for Senate Republicans, their tax plan it has a lower individual income tax and it includes a corporate income tax, something that House Republicans didn't have in their plan. So it will be interesting to see the final version of the bill that makes it to the governor's desk tonight. OK, we'll wait and see. Thanks, Zach. Governor, so the program was it already on its legs and in this last month created some urgency to uh, Yeah, it was, it was ready to go. We were implementing. We've been working on mental health. It's it, we got to look at everything. It's not a single there's not a single response or single answer. And so we are back with the House Minority Leader. Jennifer Kahn first, uh, going to go quickly here. Property taxes, it's been a big talking point election season. Up into this session, uh, House Republicans have a bill, I guess. Do you view this as the biggest area for bipartisanship this session? I hope so. You mm -hmm. know, bipartisanship means that everyone has a seat at the table. Yeah, guys, you said it. We finally have an agreement between the House, Senate, and Governor Reynolds on taxes, and it just made it past a vote. So let's break it all down for you. The Open to your questions. Go ahead, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Vice President, uh, grand jury, uh, federal judge calling you to speak in front of it yesterday. Just general thoughts on it. Um, well, I'm limited in what I can say uh, about the grand jury's proceedings. So $7,600 uh, scholarship um, or a savings account, rather, mm -hmm. um, is what it's going to be once it is opened up like that. But the mm -hmm. first couple of years, are um, uh, topped off at a, at a poverty level too. I guess what's the importance of those first couple of years? Because that's who I would imagine the bill is aimed to impact the most. Is that who uh, you're aiming to impact the most? With Absolutely. Um, it's 300% of poverty level the first year, 400% the second year. From a competitive standpoint, do you know like an example in the state where transgender girls has been competing in sports and well, the fact that it's happening in other sports, it was the right thing to do. I said it's unfortunate that we have to do it, but now it's done. It's off the table. It's a fairness issue. We're going to move forward like we have for years, and we're going to give everybody the opportunity to compete in a fair environment. Except okay, we got to run, sir. You'll you gotta likely go. be in court with this, or we got to go. Okay. Yeah, hi, Aaron and Andy. So House Democrats introducing a package that calls for guaranteeing reproductive freedoms and the right to an abortion by adding it to the state's constitution. Des Moines is once again the hottest spot in politics. Nearly every Republican presidential candidate joined Senator Joni Ernst for her roast and ride this afternoon. WHO, WHO 13 Zach Fisher has a report from the state fairgrounds. An empty stage being torn down behind me after eight Republican presidential candidates made their case to Iowans on Saturday. And when I think about restoring hope, I think about your governor, Kim Reynolds, who passed the most monumental school choice in the history of the great state of Iowa. They had the opportunity actually to balance the budget in the United States Congress. The last time we did as a nation, we're way overdue. Five million illegal aliens in this country because he reversed the policies that made our border the most secure border we ever had. I am pro-life, pro-Second Amendment, anti-woke, anti-China. That is the climate cult in America. All right, that is this new cult that says we have to stop burning carbon here in the United States or carbon emissions of any kind, that we have to adopt electric vehicles at all cost. And let me tell you something. The idea that we have biological boys playing in girls' sports is the biggest women's issue of our time, and we should be fighting that every day. By the way, a message to Major League Baseball, religious bigotry has no place in America's pastime. The woke mind virus represents a war on the truth, so we will wage a war on the woke. We will fight the woke in education. We will fight the woke in the corporations. We will fight the woke in the halls of Congress. And several of these candidates will be back in Iowa over the next several weeks, including the former Vice President Mike Pence, who is making his official announcement this upcoming week in the state. At the State Fairgrounds, Zach Fisher, WHO 13 News. Today on the west steps of the Iowa Capitol, the rally to resist took place. Participants protesting against bills impacting LGBTQ students in Iowa schools. WHO 13 Zach Fisher has more. Sunday at the Iowa State Capitol, Iowans showing up in massive numbers for a rally for LGBTQ rights. 
Iowans showing up to protest against legislation that has been going through the state house, which would require school kids to use the restroom according to their sex at birth, restrict education on gender identity and sexual orientation in certain grade levels, and block gender affirmation treatment for minors in the state. Uh, I think it's important that I'm able to share who I am with my students. And I think it's important for students to be exposed to all different kinds of families. Protesters in large quantities filling the lawn in front of the state house steps. Because I have never stopped believing that Iowans are a fair people, and they overwhelmingly reject what is happening in this Capitol building. Several speakers taking the mic, sharing words of encouragement and chants. We are With the whole rally lasting for over an hour, those who attended the event shared their thoughts afterwards. Yeah, we might have been one of the first in the country to legalize same-sex marriage, but that doesn't make our kids any feel any safer. Our kids that are still being bullied and persecuted, half the time it's not even being taken seriously. They, they're, they're being told that, that, that there's something wrong with who they are. They just want to be happy. Legislating hate, it's, it doesn't make any sense. Legislate love. And after the first funnel for Iowa lawmakers at the state house, there is about a dozen of LGBTQ restrictive bills that still have a chance to pass this session. At the state house, Zach Fisher, WHO 13.